Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again, of course, with another Paladins video. I'm going to be playing some Torvald today because it got buffed in this update pretty substantially to the point where I'd say he's actually moved up a tier. So, first off, his base shield is up from 2k to 3k, and his recharge is up from 2.2 because it was actually 10% over the full recharge for some reason to 3k as well. And yeah, even though that is a massive improvement to Torvald, he still has a lot of problems as a character. I'm still hoping we'll get that sort of redo for Torvald that they promised a while ago, but. I don't know really what happened to that or if it's still in the works or if they've just forgotten about it because right now he's just in a bit of a strange spot even after the buffs because he kind of ends up being the sort of shield character, the bubble bot, or he just is falling out of the meta entirely. So it's kind of tough to balance him similar to some of the other characters but specifically with him just because of how his kit works it's a little bit more limiting I feel like. But my whole point is I'm not going to talk too much about like the future of Torvald because I've done that many times before and so I'm just going to focus on how he is now and sort of the position he's in. The three different builds here they are a little bit different but still very similar Q heal silence and then this new one which is actually sort of worth running at the moment because of the buff to recharge reducing the cooldown of it by two seconds you do lose out the shield or the cooldown reduction on the silence but if you don't need either of those two this can actually be a better option if you're just trying to go for like full shielding this isn't a first impressions by the way i have played with this quite a bit already and it does feel significantly better but yeah Torvald is still a bit of a strange character i hope that he gets pushed more in the direction of like the silence sort of maybe shield zapper that he kind of was before because i really liked that about him it made him feel very unique because not many characters can really do either of those things. Silences though often do feel kind of horrible but there's so much potential within his kit he's sort of a very unique character design and I feel like there's so many things I could do with like the gauntlet and stuff but yeah my whole point here is to say that Torvald has an insane amount of potential and I don't feel like they're really utilizing it but this way the way he is at the moment at least he is better at doing the thing he does at the moment which is sort of the silence and the shielding and stuff although the rest of his kit doesn't really match with that. The ultimate specifically I feel like the way he's played doesn't really match. Anyway for the taunt you're pretty much picking between direct current or thanks grandpa here I feel like it makes more sense to go for the shield even though we have a Makoa, they might grab a ton of Wrecker. I don't know if the science is going to be that useful against that team, so we'll go for just the full sort of new shield setup, even though it might not be the best here. I kind of want to play him a little bit differently than I have before for the channel. We've got Half Shell, Life Exchange, Sandtrap, Cat Burger, so they are going to grab Wrecker, Shell, Force, God's Spirit Spirit's Domain, Scorch, and then Sandtrap. I imagine it's going to take me a little minute here to get warmed up, even though I've been playing him quite a bit. Whenever I do these freaking first games in the morning, I end up playing kind of rough. There's a Q on him. More shots. They did buff him quite a bit with his damage and stuff as well. I think the range drop off's different as well as just the 200 hips. I think it used to be 180, then they put it to 190, I think, and that's 200. There we go. That is the 1 0. That was pretty damn quick, but he does end up having a pretty decent amount of output if you're actually accurate and not missing all your shots like I just did there because that 200 hit and your fire rate's pretty quick. It does kind of add up. I don't know what happened there with the slow. It was a bit weird. I'm not really paying enough attention here. We'll get some shots on the Knicks and we'll retreat a little bit here. We'll regen. Kind of got pushed off there, but in a team scenario, he is really, really annoying to go against. If you're playing up against like a team comp with double tank, double healer, and you know, a damage who's doing a lot of work and a freaking Torvald who's shielding, he can be one of the most annoying characters to try and play against because if you don't grab Breaker, everybody just feels like they have so much extra health. Got rid of the Grok there. There's a science on the Knicks, even without the town. Obviously, the science is still doing the same thing. You just don't have the range or as much cooldown reduction from the build. There's a Q on the Mako. We're fully focused on shielding here, and I think that's actually maybe the right play if it's only shielding with Wrecker. Pop the F there for the shield regen. Colon for the There's a Q on him. There's a science for the Knicks. Don't know if that's really doing very much here, but definitely want to say that Torvald feels like an insane stationary character compared to most of the tanks which doesn't really matter my play style which is why I don't play Torvald that much don't really know what I should try and do I guess we can push him on the Grok and just burst him down he has probably better damage up with the most tanks when I think about it there's a Q for her and a silence nice I feel like we had a big part in that there Makoa is very pushed up this man is putting in again work Q frame we'll go for the ult here maybe blast him off at least get Nyx off right yeah, she's definitely gone. <laughs> Pop the F there to fully regen. It feels like I'm popping it a little bit less often, even though technically the cooldown on it's actually lower, just because you don't get that extra 10% over the 2k shield, and because it's bigger, it feels like you're using it less, even though you're actually way more effective than before. I feel like we're struggling a bit here. I should try and focus Charlin. I'm just also trying to keep quarter eyes on the tanks a bit. There's a silence, never mind. Q on the Mave. Silence on Nyx. This is over, I think, any second. We're just a little bit too stacked. There's the F regen. Maybe not. There's a Q for Makoa. Sure, that's a Grockle. I guess we got that out. I'm a co ulted though. Q there on him. F regen. This is a little bit hectic. To be honest, I didn't think this would be such a bad push for like the first round. We're five minutes in. That's, I think, Nyx ult. No, Coat is holding the contest here. Nyx is just punching away. She feels not anywhere near as large when you're playing a character like Torvald, to be honest. I guess he's kind of like the Nyx equivalent height wise, right? For a tank. I don't know how big Khan is. I have the ult here. Do we go for it? I was kind of tempted, but I can't remember if you get CC immunity right now in this sort of hectic fight. We'll go for it. We'll push him off. Oh my god, that didn't really work. He went for his ult too. I guess we're just all going for it. First round pushes like this are kind of crazy with all the quarterized stuff because it just is not enough to really deal with fights like this. He's finally gone. F, Q on him. What I mean is that at the end of the game, this never really happens because you've just got so much quarterized and you die way fast at the start when it's just kind of starting to tick up. We're at 60% now. Finally, the fight starts to get moving, but six friggin' minute round one push. 
Yeah, there we go. 1-1. One, one. We have quite a lot of credits here. I went for Chronos 1. I don't think it makes sense to max it out. I think I'm going to get a little bit of Nimble because I do feel really, really slow. But they're starting to get Wrecker. They have three of them. Nando, Shaolin, and Anjo. Yeah, I really shouldn't focus on the shield too much. Probably a bad idea to have gone for the setup. Maybe they checked it and that's why they went for it. Because I feel like usually you don't see that much Wrecker against just a Torvald. But I think Makoa also. There's a Silence. Yeah, him going for Half Shell. Made a big difference. More ticks on her here. She's pretty damn beefy though. I think we're kind of screwed because both of our damages are out. I think I heard Shaolin on left. Yep, there's a Q on our one. At least we can body block for him. I think he dashed back. So on the Nando, but Shaolin is still gone. They're all on left side here. Ying is hitting me with some heals, but I feel like I'm just really getting pushed in this one. Q for her. Shouts to this Ying. She's putting in work. We'll drop a U Rock. And Makura actually kind of took over the point. We finally got our F regen up. Try and help him out a bit. There's a Q. Shaolin kind of burst in me here. There's the F Q. That wreck it really just makes my thing feel like it doesn't last at all. Nick's ulted. Ko is ulting. We'll silence him as soon as that's over so you can finish him. There we go. There's the F. Can't F. Couldn't Q there either. Paladin's giant coming in. That feel way more rough than it should have. I feel like we kind of had that in the bag but I just couldn't activate my abilities for a couple seconds and just everything was going a bit weird. We'll pop the F there just to regen half. Go for the ult hitch to push them off. I don't know if I really needed to do that. We probably could have just killed them but this way we should guarantee it. Silence for the Nyx. Okay at least we can kind of get rid of her solo here. Still had some of the shield left so I didn't want to pop the F too early but there we go. She's gone. Silence for the Nando. I guess if they're buying Wrecker they're not grabbing resilience so maybe I should have gone for the silence setup here. Fernando's behind. You're not Fernando. That's a Shaolin. I am just terrible when name today. Q on him. Silence for the Nando. That should guarantee he's out. Yeah, there we go. Even without the silence setup, you still have it up pretty often because we're going for so much chronos in this way. Maybe it worked out a little bit better because I am, I guess, doing stuff a bit differently. Finally just realized what was broken about the slows and why this game felt so weird. Her thing isn't actually the right size. The slow radius on it is a massive compared to the actual thing that's indicating. I don't know if she's just got a build that's increasing and it's like bugged, but that Nyx's right click is nowhere near the size of what it feels like it is. It's significantly bigger. Silence on the Torvald. I am playing Torvald. For God's sake, what is wrong with me today? Don't know if it was bugged every time, but it's definitely been bugged for some of the activations on it. I don't know if I should go for Veteran as last item. I'm not sure if I should grab Resilience just for the Shaolin. They don't have that much CC. The slow is kind of annoying, so maybe I should get it, but I think the extra health is probably going to be more useful. Pop in the F and retreat, and I imagine he's having a bit of a hard time here too just because of his shield. There's a right click on him. Makoa there with the hook. That was a nasty. We didn't even kill him from the drop off. We actually just finished him. Got some good shots on the Andrew there in the silence here just to guarantee that finish. I think I just transitioned to the silence. Is that a thing you can do? I've never seen that before. I maybe I've not been paying enough attention. That right click just went from the Nyx onto the Nando. Pop the F for the full regen silence on the Fernando. But I kind of like the thing of going for the full shield at a bit because then you force them to grab Wrecker and they can't pick up the resilience. So your silence ends up being stronger even though you're not picking the setup for it. It's kind of weird. Silence for the Nyx here. Charlin on the left. Koa on the front. There's a Q. There's some more hits. She's going to go for that. We'll pop the F just to regen some. Get that cooldown like two seconds whilst I'm stunned. There's a Q again. I'm trying to not shield the Makoa because I feel like he needs it way less than the other characters here. Q there finally on the Shaolin again. Feels like the Q takes a little minute here even though we have gone for the talent. There's another Q. There's an F. Fully regen that. Sure. Do I ult here? I don't know if I should. I feel like it's kind of not a good idea. There's a Q for him. I guess he's ulting. Should I pop it? I really don't know. I guess we're going to go for it. We'll push him. Push him. Just push him all the way a little bit. Reset this fight a little bit. I'm trying to finish off Shaolin. We actually got the kill there. Makoa is just not dead because I think our Ying is just honestly being a tank at the moment. I don't even know where she is. Honestly, surprised that Makoa has been up for so long. He's playing so aggressive and it's kind of working. I think our Ying is just honestly being like a goddess healer here. Shaolin's also dealing a lot and I feel like Maeve's kind of doing her job. Overall here, the team is very, very solid. This is working surprisingly well and usually I have a hard time here with Torvald. I it took a little minute to get warmed up, but now that I'm in it, it's going really well. Item-wise here, though, I really don't know what to go for. Technically, I could go for Guardian, but yeah, it's Guardian, so I'm not going to do that. I think Veteran makes the most sense, to be honest. How much is that giving us extra? Yeah, I guess it's putting us up to like 7.1. It's probably worth it over the resilience because I don't think the CC is really annoying me too much here. If I was a little bit faster, it wouldn't really change very much. Ying is gone. I think that's kind of the fight over already. That's tough. Shaolin pushed around the side. Maeve's around the back. Maybe if we get rid of their Grok, it'll be kind of fine. Oh no, there's the F, there's the Q. Shaolin altered. He's just kind of hiding in the middle of science for the Nando. Maybe that'll be enough time. No, I'm trying to shield him here as soon as he's out of it. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit too late. That was like a second too late. There's the F. We could try and pull back here. Science and Nando, if he pushes in, I guess or not. There's a Q. Okay, there's a science finally going to try and play around the shield for Makoa. So until I get that F up, there's the F. Man, that was rough. Here's a 3-1 here, though. For some reason, I thought we had to get that cap. We can actually take our time a little bit. There's the science. I do have the F up. There we go. Pull that regen in. Maybe we can actually win this fight here. Actually just screwed me. Okay, we shot over. I was going to try and science him, but that works too. I do have the ult. We'll pop it. Get the Grok off there just for a little minute. Oh, he's going to ghost walk that. Okay, that surprised me. I know he has ghost walk, obviously. But I didn't think you'd pop it for that there because we weren't really that close to it. There's the F. Maybe I should try and push in on him here. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I'm just honestly trying to get these touches. He's going for the ult. We can nearly finish him off. 
That was really close. If I had one more person with me there, we would have got rid of that Grok. Do agree with them here. We do need to cover our ying a little bit because I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job with that. To be honest, I'm just kind of struggling at outputting anything today for some reason. I feel like I'm tanking a lot. I'm actually providing a lot of utility. I'm absorbing a ton of damage. I'm silencing quite well. I'm just not really outputting damage. And I need to cover our ying. There's a Q. Shaolin. Got rid of Shaolin. Silence for the Nyx. Nyx is actually kind of annoying here. I feel like she's very, very tanky. Less so than the Nando, but she's still actually doing quite well on her, to be honest. Shaolin there saying, Hi, Riz is broken. Didn't hear this Sha. Oh, uh, like the sounds I imagine might have been bugged. I don't know if that's still an issue or not. I feel like they fixed most of the sound problems. I could be wrong. That's Ying with the ult. A little bit too late there for that fight to have worked out for us. He's pulling that up. There's a Q. There's an F. Try silence him. That was like an instant silence because of the resilience. We'll push him. Here we go. Obviously got to give these guys mad props. It's not like a super high level game or anything, but it is a very, very fun, good exemplary Paladins match. Is that even a proper sentence? I don't know. It felt like it though. Pops the Q on him. Silence for the Nando. That is not even really worth doing. He's got so much resilience. There's a Q for Makoa. I do have the ult. This could be a good scenario to pop it. Do I push in and go for the ult? I don't know if this is going to work out. I guess we can go for it. Yeah, sure. Nyx is gone. If we can get Andrew too, that'd be great. I think he's got a lot of resilience too, actually. Barely even seen him this game, though. To be honest, there's a Q for the Ying. We're actually out of there. There's the F. Oh, he's going to push in for this. Okay, shots on him. We'll maybe get that silence. We've got the team behind, so it's fine. I don't know why they went for that push with like two of them, but maybe that would have worked out if they were a little bit faster with it. Silence. There we go. Again, even with resilience, that silence is quite nice here because we've delayed that resilience because they had to get wrecked so much. Silence here on the Nyx. She doesn't have it. That lasts for ages. I'm just going to straight up tank this because we've got the F3 gem when we need it. She is gone. There's a Q. I don't like the fact that if Nyx goes for her F, you can't actually see when she's dead. That's kind of annoying. I feel like that's not meant to be a feature and that's just like a bug and they could easily make that work. Like, whoever's the last person to ticker for that F damage. Sheldon got rid of uh, freaking Ying there, which is kind of annoying. He's honestly playing more of a flanker than I feel like Andro is. Oh my god, that slow there felt kind of rough. Shots on him. Sheldon doing damage. Maybe we can get rid of this Fernando here. Silence stomp pulling out the shield. That didn't really work. I mean, I guess he's gone. <laughs> Kerr died but that's honestly kind of a fair trade. We'll push in on the Grok, because Nyx is the only one here. There's a silence on him. Is he gone with enough damage on that? There we go. Nice. Damage Torval. There's a Q for Ying. She's on the top doing her work. Honestly, if Shaolin's not on it, I think she's just insane here. There's a right click for the Nyx. She's just gone, delaying her death, obviously, in this scenario. Fernando can even get on it. There we go. 3-2. We can actually tank a loss here for the cap, but we'll just finish off Kronos. I guess. I don't know if the 5% health's worth it over the cooldown. I feel like the cooldown's better. We have just been tanking for a ton. Shouts to both teams, though, because this has honestly been, once again, just a fantastic siege match from Koa there with the jump strat. Do we play the point or do we push with him? I feel like I should try and stick with this Koa. I would honestly love to get, like, a really good ult player, maybe knock someone off, but I just feel like that's not very likely. They are very much going after Ying. There's a silence for the Nando. I did try and queue up, but I think he got insta-cleared. Ying is actually not up. What am I saying? That was the Maeve. There's a Q, F. I'm the last one up. Ying there saying, Shaolin, why are you flanking help the backline? I don't know what happened to Shaolin. I saw everyone else except him, so maybe he was going on around the back. Again, we can take the loss here on the cap, so it's not too bad if we lose this bit. Shoulder in there with the dismount. I'll call enemies on left, because he's in the back line. There's a queue for our Maeve, I guess. I don't know if I should try and go after him, or if I should just ignore him here. I feel like I can kind of just leave him and make my way towards the point. I don't know if that's a good idea. There's a queue for Shaolin. Now we can go after him. Okay, we killed our Shaolin. Rip. Shaolin went for the ult. Nyx went for the ult. Shaolin saying behind Shah. I did call enemies on left and he was there for like long enough that he should have realized because the amount of sound effects that Shaolin made. He has finally gone there, Mako and Yin getting rid of him, but I'm surprised that Shaolin didn't notice the Shaolin behind. I know I got dismounted, but I could hear his sound effects all day on left. There's the grip. Nice. Or the pull. We silenced him as well just to confirm that. Crocs trying to do some in. I feel like we can just zone them off here. They do have the cap, so they have to play aggressive. I forgot that it is a 3 Two, not a 2-2 two, two here. There's the F. Oh, yeah, Makoa is going to get rid of the Andra. I think this is just over. I do have the ult. I am going to save it because I feel like we don't need to use it just yet to get the Nyx off. We'll pop the F. I'm going to try and cover Ying because Shaolin's on her. He's got the silence or the pull, I mean. We got the silence. The silence did transfer there again, so I guess it is intended. Shaolin upright with the chat. Nice. But this is one of the better games i played. We'll go for the ult now just to push them all off. I don't know if that was really worth it. The silence just instant made him ult. Ying ulted too. He should be gone. Shaolin with the burst. There's a Q. We're silencing her off. Oh my god. I don't know if we denied that there or not, but that silence sort of a co body block was dirty. Victory, one of the best games I've played in a minute, and a great showcase there for Torvald for sure. I'd usually do a game too, but as you can sort of see from the stat line there, there is a no way I'm topping that. Shoutouts to their Nyx. A fantastic match and a fantastic showcase there. 354 on the point, 137k damage and 282k shielding. That is just kind of crazy there. We were only beaten out by the Makoa who was putting in work there. Like I said, that man was definitely doing his freaking job and we were too. We had nearly the same output and shielded for an insane amount there. As you saw, that ended up being a very, very good scenario for it. So a lot of the time, you're not going to have that and Torvald can feel a little bit rough. But with the way he is at the moment, at least he can do his job of silencing and shielding 
and, you know, doing more than enough damage. Uh, Shaolin did pretty well. He could have done a little bit better. Ying was just putting in mad work with the heals. Kerr, like I said, was doing great. Maeve could have also done a bit better, but for their side, Fernando did pretty well, but could have done a bit better. Nyx, I think, specifically would have struggled in that scenario, even if it was somebody playing her insanely well there. Nyx was doing fine, but I think just Nyx as a character in that sort of position with the team comps and the map and stuff, it's kind of rough. Croc did really well, though. Props to him. He could have played a little bit safer. Maybe that would have worked a bit better, but... He did well. Andrew could have done better as well. He wasn't flagging that much. Charlene, surprisingly, on their side was sort of the carry and was going after the Ying a lot, and that was sort of where we lost the fights. But again, yeah, just a great game. There's not really too much I want to add here right at the end, other than the setup surprisingly worked. I thought I was going to have a harder time because I went for this sort of F thing and was not really focused on the Q heal, but I think that would have been the right choice there. I think maybe the science could have played out better because they weren't grabbing resilience, so maybe we would have countered them, but I feel like going for the shield forced the wrecker, so maybe it worked out. With hindsight, definitely still torn between the two. The science is five seconds off there and the F is two, so maybe the science would have been better, but I don't think direct current was the play. I think Thanks Grandpa was actually the better option because that Q was still getting cleared really quick even with the talent, and I was popping it a lot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I will put a couple codes on screen if you're the first one to grab it. Congrats, enjoy your free event pass. Shouts to Vomojo as always for providing the codes and stuff. I don't usually give them out like this, but I feel like it's kind of appropriate for the way this video went. So yeah, go to the store, hit redeem. If you're the first one to get it, enjoy your event pass. If you didn't get any though, don't worry. I'll put some more in some future videos. Just pay attention. I'll always say when I'm going to put them in the video so you don't have to like look around. I'm not going to like sneakily hide them in or anything. I'm not that mean. And I feel like there's probably some that I've put like that and they never even got claimed. I don't know. And yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you like, if you enjoyed, let me know what you want to see me the next. Let me know your thoughts on the 12 changes. And as always, stay frost. Thanks.